ITV Chief Executive Caroline McCall was always going to face the elephant in the room over its interest in Endemol Shine during the Royal Television Society's London Conference, especially as she was being interviewed on stage by former ESG President Tim Hinks. However, unsurprisingly McCall avoided revealing all when asked for details about the British commercial broadcaster's move to pay somewhere between $2B $3B for the Master Chef and Black Mirror producer. That's speculation and we never comment on that, she said. The most important thing for us is that we can organically grow studios and whatever we looked at from now on would have to be financially disciplined. We're incredibly disciplined about any acquisition we make small or large. It emerged over the weekend that ITV had officially entered the bidding process, six months after deadline first revealed interest. Later in the day, Endemol Shine Chief Creative Officer Peter Salmon told the RTS conference that he expected the deal to be done in a month or two. In July, Endemol Shine owners Apollo Global and 21st Century Fox hired Deutsche Bank and Liontree to advise on a sale. Other bidders are thought to include Alamedia co-owner Liberty Global, ITV and Vivendi-backed Banerjee. However, BBC Studios and Fremantle owner RTL have both in recent weeks ruled out bidding for the Super Indie. If ITV was to acquire Endemol Shine, it would be a transformative deal for ITV and would be a major statement by McCall, who joined at the start of the year. It would bring together global formats such as ITV's Love Island and Netflix Breakout Queer Eye with Endemol Shine's own library of entertainment hits. It would also reunite John Demol with the company that he founded. Demol sold the voice producer Talpa Media to ITV in 2015. ITV chairman Peter Bazalget also knows the business well, having sold his own indie to the company prior to its merger with Shine, and worked as Chief Creative Officer and UK Chairman under former owners Spanish Telecom's giant Telefonica. Next up for McCall is Mythcom in October, it will be interesting to see if a sale has happened by then. What do you think about it? Share your opinion in the comments below the video. And also subscribe to the channel now to miss new, interesting videos.